Yeah, today is uh, after Thanksgiving and uh, 25th of November 2022. Uh, temperature got much, much warmer now today. It's about 50 degrees. So I decided to walk uh, outside a little bit. The guy was, I got sick a little bit after going to the mountain uh, for a week and I came back and uh, I got the uh, coronavirus uh, flu shot as well as the coronavirus uh, a fourth installment including Omicron ver versions of the uh, uh, Pfizer and uh, so I got that and then right after that I got really sick I couldn't hardly stand up and uh, so yeah, it's very, very interesting that uh, uh, shot vaccination uh, could be working, but uh, could not work in this particular, uh, you know, pandemic uh, conditions. And uh, uh, you still get the kind of symptoms. Uh, what I understand is, uh, yeah, symptom itself uh, didn't go severe if you have a shot. So I think it's still a good idea to get a shot. But uh, uh, regardless, and I, I see a lot of friends also uh, getting uh, all these co uh, COVID uh, positive uh, COVID tests. Uh, even though they had already once or twice, uh, you have a COVID and have recovered, and, but still getting it, another COVID. So yeah, kind of interesting. Uh, but anyway, today I got the a um, little bit feel better, so um, I decided to walk. It's very nice November day, very very sunny. As you see, no clouds in the sky. Oh, it's a uh, clearly clearly blue sky there. Uh, I like this blue sky. I think psychologically you feel better. Uh, looking at the blue sky So Yeah, I think uh, I would like to You know I'm getting old and uh, Yeah, you get sick a little bit and uh, Hello Very nice day today. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, you know. I have this jacket, yeah. but I don't need it. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no. Okay, have a nice day. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this is my favorite uh, trail in this area. Go into the uh, uh, East Lake and uh, the river, the water uh, dried up, and the trees all kind of a desiccated look. Oh, no colors are existing anymore, it's all brown or oh, kind of a shriveled leaves yeah yeah it is interesting Yeah, it's kind of amazing that particular uh, trail used to be green and uh, beautiful. <laughs> <coughs> but this particular trail covered with greenery, uh, flowers and uh, uh, trees are all green, but it's all 
yeah, it's all gone. That particular beauty, but I feel, yeah, still nice to walk in uh, winter time. I think the uh, one of the things that uh, you walk in the winter, I think you, uh, you know, the Franz Schubert has a uh, winter journey a song cycle, and he um, composed the songs according to some poets, I think. Uh, it's called Winter Journey, and uh, yeah, you know, most of the time, I think the, the content of the song is like uh, uh, you are alone, and you are going to the, this particular area, and you see this beauty, and you kind of reflect on your life and uh, suffering and all these things. And uh, so, yeah, I could understand that. So there's just a lot of snow left. And uh, so, yeah, winter is interesting. I just got into the winter walking. Uh, I think uh, most of the time I stayed at home reading books during the winter or, or painting, you know, watercolors or something. And uh, I uh, uh, really felt that, yeah, winter is not the time to go outside because it's not comfortable. And, uh, but uh, that's not true. Today it's like a 50 degrees in the end of November. And uh, uh, very, very uh, comfortable to walk. There's no cloud in the sky. So that means uh, very, very uh, psychologically affecting on me that, uh, yeah, it is uh, very, very uh, good to walk in this very sunny winter day. <clears throat> I kind of uh, think about uh, when I was coming here during the summer and all those green beautiful trees all over the place uh, mostly I would say cottonwoods uh, black locust willow ash uh, such thing like that um, very limited varieties so I really like that, you know. Um, although I kind of uh, uh, enjoyed the coming the wilderness area to look for something unusual, some other tree that I never seen before, or something like that. But uh, yeah, I think it, it is kind of a too much to ask for nature because nature can do only one thing but, uh, trees and plants surviving in the particular area is the fittest one of the particular environment so other plants are not surviving or competing with this species that uh, go in here and uh, those strong species is not necessarily native. Uh, they, are, they could be uh, imported from some other country, like Russia, for example. There's a Russian olive invading lots, lots of uh, riparian area uh, all over the Colorado, and the states are trying to control that particular population, but almost like impossible. And uh, yeah, it is interesting to see how the tree survives. Uh, tree also lives very, very long time. I was talking about uh, uh, a while ago uh, finding the one or two specimens of uh, uh, 
uh, the pine, uh, bristlecone pine, and uh, uh, they are, you know, how long they live? Like uh, 2,000, 3,000 years. They live. Individual uh, bristlecone pine was found to live like uh, 2,000 years, which is like human history, you know. <laughs> So while well, they lived such a long time, you know, human lived at the most like about 100 years. Uh, human lives quite a long time, I would say, compared to the other animals, uh, except like a total and stuff. They may live not much longer. And so, yeah, trees are very, very respected in all over the world um, people admire the trees and uh, as a matter of fact in japan some of the trees are a god trees they they put uh, uh, this uh, shimenawa which is uh, like a ornamental white made of white uh, papers around the trees so that they they think that's that's a sacred uh, that's the uh, trees that uh, you kind of uh, respect and the uh, people come and they, they bow in front of the tree which is I think the nice traditions uh, coming from Japan I think uh, uh, they really really uh, uh, I, I think it's uh, uh, they, they are lucky to have so many greeneries there Japan is a very, very interesting country that uh, uh, yeah, whole, whole uh, Japanese peninsula has uh, uh, this climate where, you know, distinct four seasons and uh, the trees are um, very much, uh, I would say, uh, healthy in there because of the rain, it falls there. Uh, it's not the jungle by any means, but uh, um, you know the spring times, uh, uh, cherry blossoms and uh, fall. Uh, you know maples, Japanese maples, red colors, which is very very nice. Uh, so, yeah, they are lucky to have that kind of a nature. I was uh, watching the all kinds of YouTube uh, videos about the people visiting uh, this area of Kyoto, or area of Nikko, or area of some place of Tokyo. They have a tremendous beauty in there. Um, the color is almost like a magical and so yeah I think uh, it is kind of interesting to see in this area um, although um, trees changes colors and beautiful uh, some uh, part of the uh, fall and uh, but uh, that's gonna go very quickly and uh, uh, after that, it's become a little bit, yeah. This is called the East Lake over here. And uh, this is a nice area to walk around, but uh, I felt like uh, maybe I shouldn't go here. I should uh, go to the trail again. And then see if I can uh, enjoy the uh, trail more or less walking. And then this trail is called the Ditch Trail. Uh, there's not so many um, people walking. Which is a nice thing. This 
It's another bristle corn pine. I think.